time. Oh, just as I was getting into it. Ah, uh, okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'll make this brief. <laughs> Our 20th Nightmare on Elm Street that have been sold. But this one has two new mods that Jason, who happens to be right next to us, came up with. Jason has lit the house here with a high power LED. And even though the flash lamp is working, Freddy is now lit with a high power red LED. The flash lamp is flashing in the now. Now you can see it. So he's all lit up nice. Plus, he's also put some LEDs here, high power down here, because we needed more light. We've also done a boatload of other stuff here. We have red uh, sleeves here. And you can get those from um, oh gosh, where did I my head? The uh, Cliffy Cliffy protectors. Oh, I can't remember anything now. Boy, oh boy. It, it's got something to do with not getting enough sleep because of this man. The side cabinet is beautiful. And look, I gotta show you something. I promised a really great upgrade, and I'm gonna show it to you. Zoom in right here. See that? We are now going to go and show you how to fix your claw, courtesy, of course, of Jason. So we're gonna fade out to that now. As you know, every game that we get in has one specific problem. The blades always break off the claw. So we're going to come up with an ingenious way to figure out how to bring the blades back to life. And to fix it once and for all? Done. All right, you show us. I got the fingers all cleaned out, even. That is the plan, and then epoxy all around it. Trim it down, grind it, shape it, paint it, finish it. Done. Make mix up some epoxy and go over like the back and the front a little bit better. It's coming along nice. Well, 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 that was pretty good, huh, Jason? Yeah, it worked out very well. And it'll be permanent, won't it? We hope. Permanent. Until some clod hopper starts scoop, choosh, pulls it. Actually, these will just bend now, now that they're, they're not popsicle sticks. People use, have used popsicle sticks, but the Lexan means they'll hold out a lot better. So even if they're moved, and they won't crack. Also, I wanted to point out another feature in the head. Williams was going to sue Gottlieb when they heard that Freddie was going to talk. So they got around that by having the ball go behind Freddie and go in, and then the ball ejaculates out of his mouth. So the ball can't go in. So that's how they got around the penmation copyrights. Because see, there's no way for the ball to go into the mouth and then get kicked out. So it goes around the back, plus the eyes don't move. Another nice feature this machine has, I've got to show you. If you step through, if you hold the right flipper button and hit the left flipper button, you get all the rules on how to play the game. It was a really clever idea, Gottlieb's, that they put on all the System 3s, or pretty much all of them. So if somebody's standing at the machine and they're not sure they want to play it, they can step through the rules. But anyway, I wanted to tell you now that... Every town! As an Elm Street. <laughs> How about having a private party here at TNT Amusements in our maze like showrooms? Did you know that we have well over 60 games on free play? Unlimited playtime in our Everton showroom. Try our antique light bulbs or look at our hologram collection. Plus, we're always changing games in the showroom, so there's always different games to play. And one of our party hostesses 
will run your entire party for you, making it real easy for you. I'd like you to meet my lovely wife, Pam. You know, folks, Pam and I were happy for almost 25 years. And then we met. Ha ha ha! 25 years, eh? That's not even my joke. It's Rodney Dangerfield. Hmm. But it's banana cream. Hmm. Look, your very own private party room. And we even show a classic car, too, why they eat their food. We'll make your party a smash hit. We're in the Yellow Pages Hunt for Amusement. Hope you enjoyed our show tonight, folks. And we have a little bit of time left over, so let's run some bloopers. And now, the fun part. Todd is, uh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> um. Everything I do stays here. Put it in the barn! <laughs> Put it in the barn! Put it in the barn! I can just see it now, the big cigar. Put it in the barn! Todd impression. I don't know, I don't know that. Maybe there's the finger biting. Never worked for a place quite like this, and I uh, never thought I'd be here this long. Dean is very large. Worthless palm, no good, crutch of wheat, something like this. I owe 100000 on this, 200000 on that. I even know the pizza collar guys. Did you, see, did you see he was... He was going to walk by without stopping. <laughs> Dinner. <laughs> ah, living is good, isn't it, folks? That's all for now. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>